Friends, today we will solve a question on the topic determination of amount payable to executors of a deceased partner. Now, you can see here question number 65 in this book. X and Y are partners. The partnership deed provides into Elia that the accounts are balanced on 31st March every year. The profits to be divided as X one half, Y one third, and carried to reserve one sixth. That means one half to x that is three by six to x, one third to y that is two by six to y, and one six to reserve. Now you can just simply forget reserve. If you exclude reserve, the ratio between x and y is three to two. So we'll continue the sum with three to two. That is three by five for x and two by five for y. That in the event of the death of a partner, his executors will be entitled to be paid the capital to the to his credit till the date of death. His portion, his proportion of profits till the date of death, based on the average profit of the last three completed years, and by way of goodwill, his proportion of the total profits for the preceding three years. Profits for the three years are given below the balance sheet: forty-two hundred, thirty-nine hundred, and forty-five hundred. Why died on first August two thousand nineteen? Prepare necessary accounts. So this is the question. Now here you can see. The capital balance in the question was given six thousand for Y. There was a reserve of three thousand. So the balance BD of Y's capital account. You just need to prepare a Y's capital account here. We'll not prepare the partner's capital. We'll just prepare Y's capital. So there will be single column for amount. My balance BD six thousand is the capital of Y given in the question here. Next is reserve. Reserve was three thousand, and the share of Y is two by five. So three thousand into two by five, that is twelve hundred, is given to Y. Next is profit. A profit to be calculated on the basis of average profit of last three years. The average profit of last three years is four thousand two hundred plus eight nine hundred plus forty five hundred divided by three. That is four thousand two hundred. Four thousand two hundred. And Y had died on first August. So April, May, June, and July, the four months he had worked. So forty two hundred the average profit into four by twelve for four months he had worked. And two by five is the share of Y. When you calculate this, you will get five hundred and sixty. And the next thing is goodwill. For goodwill, it was told his proportion of the total profit of preceding three years. The total profit of preceding three years is twelve thousand six hundred. Twelve thousand six hundred into two by five gives us five thousand forty. So this will be the share of goodwill of Y, which will be provided in the name of X capital. So by X capital, five thousand forty is provided, as well as PL suspense the profit, the share of profit of Y is also provided. In this manner, you can see in this question. We have provided all the required information according to the question. We have provided everything here, so we'll add. It comes to twelve thousand eight hundred. The same total we'll copy on the other side, and when we balance, you'll get twelve thousand eight hundred. So, why executor's account will be entitled to rupees twelve thousand eight hundred? So, let us see one more question of similar type. That is the question number sixty-six in this book. P, Q, and R are partners. In a firm sharing profits in the ratio of two is to two is to one, the partnership deed provides that in the case of death of a partner, the executors will be entitled to the following: number A, interest on capital at the rate of twelve percent per annum; number B, interest on drawings at the rate of eighteen percent per annum; number C, salary at the rate of twelve thousand per annum; number D, sharing profit of the firm up to the date of death on the basis of previous year's profit. On the basis of previous year's profit, you need to provide the share of profit in the firm. Next is P died on thirty first May two thousand eighteen. So April and May only two months he had worked. His capital was eighty thousand. He had withdrawn rupees fifteen thousand and interest on in drawings was calculated at rupees twelve hundred. Although the rate of interest on in drawings was given eighteen percent, but interest on in drawings is calculated here and provided to us rupees twelve hundred. So we'll use this twelve hundred only. We'll not go to calculation. Next profit for the firm. Profit of the firm for the previous year ended thirty first March eighteen was thirty thousand. So the profit of the previous year is also given thirty thousand. In this way, we'll start the question. The capital balance is eighty thousand. So here again, we will prepare P's capital account because P has died. So we'll prepare P's capital account here. By balance, P's eighty thousand of capital. Salary was provided twelve thousand per annum. Salary was twelve thousand per annum, but since P had worked only two months, so two months salary only he will be getting that is two thousand. So by salary two thousand is provided. Next is interest in capital. Same thing for interest in capital. Interest in capital also be provided at the rate of twelve percent per annum. You can see here at the rate of twelve percent per annum. But since two months only P had worked, so we'll provide interest in capital for the 
period of two months only. So 80,000 into 12 percent into 2 by 12 gives us 1600. So interest in capital will be provided 1600 to P. Next is profit. Share of profit of the firm up to the date of death on the basis of previous year's profit. On the basis of previous year's profit you need to provide. Previous year's profit was given 30,000. So 30,000 into 2 by 12 into 2 by 5 is the share of P. 2 is to 2 is to 1 was the ratio between P, Q and R. So P share is 2 by 5. So 30,000 into 2 by 12 since he had worked 2 months and 2 by 5 is the share. You will get 2,000. So this 2000 is also provided. On the debit side, interest on drawings was calculated 1200 and the drawings was provided 15000. When you debit this both the things and you balance, you will get his executor's account at rupees 69400. So you will get his executor's account 69400. In this way, I think you can solve these questions. These are quite very simple questions. You can solve these questions very easily and still if you have any queries, you can let me know either through call or WhatsApp. I'll get back to you on the on those doubts. Now, after watching this video, you'll be getting few questions to solve. You'll solve those questions and send me the solution personally as soon as possible. Till then, thank you very much and bye.